are covered with blood and suddenly you notice your name written all over it. Uh. Oh. Wait a minute, I thought I was inside. Oh, you mean I'm... Well, I hope nothing comes out. There's a handprint. Maybe I was supposed to look at that hole when that guy came earlier. Yeah, whatever. You, there are writings on the wall too. Dead silence is everywhere. You see reception desk, yes. This is the same one, right? But I go back to the archive. I haven't finished reading. Not you. Edward Thompson. Okay, Cecil Woodward. He came to the hospital willingly. He claims that he's rotting. Labs are normal. Cecil is located in the private room and is diagnosed with anxiety disorder. The rest of the time, the patient is polite and friendly. <coughs> Nurses start to complain about bad smell from the from the Cecile's room. The doctor discussed with him his hygiene. Cecile claims that he takes shower by the schedule. Uh, doctors found maggots on the Cecile's bed. Cecile is worried and depressed, but his physical condition is normal. The patient was prescribed strong sedative. The pest control was called in the room. Cecile has disappeared. Nurses think he's ran away. There were his clothes and some stinky black slime stain on his bed. Tracking team searched the forest but found nothing. Any more papers? Yori Noriyama. Ooh. Love forever, your wife, Nikaido. Hmm. Was delivered by the court order. He's, he's charged with the murder of six people. Three of them were his family members. The patient was found in his apartment. He had his family's blood on him. He claimed that the ominous doll forced him to kill. His reflexes seemed to be good. There are signs of schizophrenia. The patient was just prescribed with tamponegrins of risperidone and shock therapy. Nurse Wilkins found him near the window. According to her, he was crying blood. Maybe it's consequences of the shock therapy. Reduce the therapy to once in a week. Update. A porcelain doll was found in the patient's room. Nobody knows where it came from. The patient came without luggage and nobody visited him. Take this picture. Or maybe it's the husband. Very nice girl on the photo. Photo is very shabby. Someone value you so much. Signature love you forever. Your wife Nikaido. Mm, okay. <clears throat> a Paxton steward now. Paxton was brought to the hospital by the police. Officer noticed a dark figure in the alley shuddered at woman's lifeless body. During the arrest, the suspect claimed that his friend did it. The patient shared some information by himself. Paxton grew up in the orphanage where he didn't get along with counterparts. He said that he had a friend who nobody could see and he got beaten for that. One day, one of the, orphan, one, uh, one of the orphans was found torn to shreds. There were rumors that Paxton got back at him because he called Paxton lunatic and beat him. After that accident, children stayed away from Paxton. As a result, the patient became closed. He communicated only with his friend. When he turned 18, he was kicked away and for this moment nobody seen him. Update, Paxton is behaving adequate. Dr. Woods was pleased to have the new patient and been saying that he's valuable exemplar. Update, Dr. Woods monitors Paxton. At night, Dr. Woods provides instructive discussion with Paxton in the operating room where nobody's allowed to come in. Okay, any more? Oh, I can go back to the original one. That's fine. Leave. Uh, this key is for the room. I don't know about this photo though. I still don't know what this is for. I 
scale. Only have four times then. Okay, I have to find out somewhere. Okay, reception, bathroom, entry, stairs. Oh, no handle from the side of the door. Apparently, someone ripped it out and it's impossible to pry the doors open. <sighs> Elevator. Okay, yep. Save first. <clears throat> How about if I go back to the third floor? Hopefully there's no there's no one waiting at the stairs. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh well. Fine. I can't go back. C -c -c can't get back. Well, let's go to the. I haven't gone to the basement now, didn't I? Oh, wait. Okay, well. Yeah, room 202. How about I say first again? Well, I really haven't gone to the basement yet, did I? Before I go there, let's go to the basement. Oh wait, I can't! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot. forgot about that. So sorry. It's unlocked. <sighs> yeah, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. This photo was supposed to be that doll. Let's go to 203. Oh ho! Oh nice! Basement key! Okay. Uh. So I can open the door now, but should I? Um, save again. I'm paranoid, I know. No one's here. People go crazy in such places. Nothing impressive. Password again, but I don't know. I can't even press it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can. Oh, of course. Uh, I have to find a password. Maybe I have to go to the basement now? Entryway. Stairs. Uh, eh? I have light now, didn't I? <laughs> I forgot about him! Ah! Save as much as you can and open the damn key. Oh. Oh, so there's one more key needed. Damn. Where's the other key? Uh. Yes, yes, yes.
so uh, I remember that what was that that guy with the the coat saying that um, I need the oh Edward Thompson yes he needs the coat so maybe just maybe the the password is actually the year where the Great Depression occurs let's go back to the password and see if that's true <clears throat> It's 1929 when where the Great Depression occurs. So let's, 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 let's try it out. Let's try it out. 1929. Come on. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh. Now the safe is open. Basement key. The other one. Good. Okay, I guess it's time we go down anyway. Mm. Basement. Let's save before we go in. <clears throat> uh. <sighs> Can I open the door? Come in. Oh! They seem unreal. How about I take one? More? Oh! Slider shapes are trying to tell you something. Fragmentary vision show you an image of a man whose language is in some armored cell. The building reveals you its secrets bit by bit, but what for? <laughs> oh! Oh, okay, I thought he's killing me or something. This is the end of the story about the man who's trapped in the end of his home. <coughs> okay. Well, uh, the, 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 how about I save first? Let's go to B01. It seems it's powerhouse. The huge generator in the middle of the room looks old and abandoned. There's a basement window on the ceiling. You can see the moonlight through it. The window itself is behind the bar. Okay, I can. <laughs> No more gas in the generator. Cans must be somewhere nearby. Oil will grease the generator tank, but there's not enough gas inside to make it work. Fine. You can see bare wires inside the cable. It's useless in such conditions. Fine. Let's go to BO2. Little bit of light there. Small office obviously belongs to someone from the administration, but why in the basement? Let's get the card. Patient 011 basement. Seems it's a magnetic card. Reader is somewhere nearby. Resist. This is the image that the guy was saying. He he's seeing some uh <coughs> um forest. Where did I get that? It's like from the nightmare. It seems you've already been there. Seriously. What is this? Portal construct. Oh, this is from the the first episode. So this is Ethan Wood's office. Mr. Woods. Human sacrifice. The heart. The pentagram. And satanic symbol. You remember the terrible sight in the attic in the Woods house? Yes. And that's the demon. Kelaset. Dimension key. So, okay. <clears throat> Never forget this nightmare. Saturn devouring his son. You always felt weird about this picture. I guess there's nothing more. B O three. Let's follow. Okay. Oh, uh, another password. I don't know. Wooden box. Maybe there's something useful. Sir! The box is full of worms. Can I take it? Like, maybe it's useful somewhere.
Well, let's take the can. Strong smell gas. BO4. <laughs> Who's there? These are two, there are two in the toolbox. There's not enough. There's enough to fix something. Whoa! Why well, just take a photo of you? Why? Why did you attack me? Ah. Uh. <coughs> yeah, of course. What if I click on her? Let do not disturb her, yep. Get out of the way! B05 You're close to solving this mystery. There's no place to go in this hospital. Okay, uh, nope, no, 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 no. Let's go back to the first room. Put in some oil. Such mix should revive this oath. Fix this! Nice! Nice, okay. Cables is fixed and reliably isolated. There's some pale light in the hall. Lamps are too dusty to operate at full capacity. Oh, there's a pretty big light over here. Anything over here? Yeah. There's a password here, but... Maybe some hint? Doors with <laughs> Yeah, I know that. It's not a very good hint there. Uh, before I go into the BO4, let's see. Huh? She's gone. Oh, maybe because of the lights. Maybe she went upstairs. That doesn't work anymore. Fine. What? This is the house of Mr. Woods. Welcome, son. Huh? I'm glad you've made it. As you can see, I can't leave this house. I uh... tried my best to summon you here, and here you are. When I was young, I was expelled from the city. I was wandering in the forest until I found this house. Oh, oh, the black man. Dark man. <laughs> oh. Whoa! 